Guys, I'm not going to keep you long on here. I'm going to try to keep this as short as I po possibly can. Less than 10 minutes by far. I started the big search for a 44. I have my reasons for wanting one. Over the years, I've shot many guns. I have many that I own. I carry in one of my vehicles, a 32, always hidden inside there. I carry a 380, 9mm. I decided that I needed to get a 44, and it was it was quite a search, I'll tell you. I hunted around, hunted around, did a lot of research. I have a PT-92 Taurus. It's been a great 9mm. I've had that gun for probably close to 20 years. I love the feel of it. I love the way it shoots. But I knocked Taurus off the list almost immediately. I'm going with a revolver here. I just got back from a gun shop. We have a gun shop that's not too far away. It's in... Uh, over by Central City, Kentucky. I actually bought this from Bud's Gun Shop, although this branch is called Uncle Lee's. When Uncle Lee sold out, Bud's bought it, and they had all the guns that I wanted to look at, primarily the Smith & Wesson 629 verse this Super Red Hawk Ruger. Look who won. <laughs> and it wasn't much of a competition for me. First thing, let me show you this. There's a standard 9mm next to 44 mag. And uh, not only is it a lot longer, it's a lot has a lot more uh, circumference to it. So when I go to shoot that in another part, uh, you might be interested in seeing how it lined up and how it actually shot and handled. However, though, when I went... I looked at the 629 first, and uh, then I looked at the Ruger, and I definitely had my feelings toward which one I was like, and I said, hey, buddy, can we get both these up here at the same time? He said, sure. He put it up there. Guys, I'm six foot tall. I weigh about 175 pounds. This gun fits my hand absolutely perfectly. Perfectly. The cylinder is a triple lock system. Uh, Weapons Education has a great channel on here, and he goes into that pretty extensively. The cylinder itself, it's, it's big. It's a big cylinder. There's no doubt about it. This gun will shoot probably any kind of round that you want it to. Get that snap out of there. Lot of metal, heavy duty. The strap across the top is super thick. The barrel itself, very thick. So much metal on this gun. I didn't think it was overly uh, heavy. People had said that the Smith has a better trigger. I would argue that I stood down there with the snap ring put on. I have used both of the triggers, and believe me, single action or double action, this Ruger to me felt much better than the Smith. Am I against Smiths? No. I actually have my wife carrying an air weight. I have a bodyguard that I use. This one hands down. There was to me there was no comparison. Except for the price. The Smith was significantly lower, but you didn't get anywhere near the gun with the Smith. So I'm very happy with this gun. I'm very happy with the way that it fits my hand. The next video will be firing the gun. When you look down it, you can see uh, the... Let's see here if I can get you lined up. That's tougher than it looks. But I will be firing it. But uh, just off the table, to me, it was really important. Now, I could have bought this gun cheaper elsewhere. I know that. I realize that. However, it was worth something to me to be able to walk into this gun shop, to feel the gun, to touch the gun, to talk to people about the gun. And there was no monkeying around, shipping it to an FL, FFL. Uh, so I'm very happy 
I'm very happy with this gun. I think that Ruger did a great job in making it appealing. I think it's a beautiful gun. I think that the way that they shaped the handle fits my hand beautifully. I told you about weapons education. That channel there, the gentleman takes this apart, takes a screw out of the bottom. Tough to see, isn't it? Yeah. You can see it a little bit. A little, there you go. And the whole grip slips right off. And he shows all the extra cushion that's inside there. The Smith, you're holding on to wood and metal. I can't help but believe that this is going to be a much more gu comfortable gun to shoot. The weight is not affecting me. Uh, of course, the Smith was lighter, but it didn't really uh, make any difference to me in holding the gun, handling the gun, firing the gun. So now that's with the snap cap. You know, I haven't actually uh, fired any live ammo through it yet. You might want to tune in to see my first experience with a 44. But uh, it was a clear choice, guys. So hopefully this will help you because it took me a long time to dig through it. Taurus, I'm sure, makes a good gun in 44. I've heard the triggers are really bad. I heard the Smith triggers are great, but this Ruger's trigger, <laughs> it was great. So, all right, guys, thanks for tuning in and tune in again to see us fire this thing for the very first time. You have yourself a great day.